Hi, I'm Toby from AbletonCorsa.de. I quickly want to show you how you can use my drum tuner patches for the drum rack and for the impulse sampler. I'm gonna show you how to use this with the Korg Nano Pad. Every other MIDI hardware would work, uh, even your computer keyboard would work, as long as uh, MIDI notes are being sent. The idea of the drum tuner patches are that you don't want to change always um, the presets in your MIDI hardware. So for example, you want the notes which are being sent by the Cognano pad um, staying the same, but you want certain sounds there. So you get on the patch uh, a window which shows you which incoming note is being sent from your MIDI hardware. And then you can change this or train every pad to the um, slot you want to uh, train it to. For example, the kick, for the C1, and it's now being transposed minus 16 semitones. Let's do the same here with the snare. So that's quick and easy. You can reset all the things. So now no sounds are being played now. So um, your um, there is no transpose action being on and you can press a through button as well so all the MIDI which is being sent uh, will get through now and not being transposed even you have something on. Okay, so the same is, uh, is it with the drum tuner impulse which is a bit different because um, the impulse slots aren't that flexible like in a drum rack so um, you have C3, D3, E3 and so on only the white bars or only the C major scale so same here if you want to set something here obviously you have to arm your track let's turn this one down so you get um, a certain fields really easy and quick synced. So you could now use this um, preset you made and just save it into your user library. There you go. And now every time you want to use a certain MIDI hardware um, you can just pull, drag and drop Drap, <laughs> drag and drop this uh, preset in front of any impulse and then you can use it with your Korg Nano Pad. So you just have to do it once and you can really easy uh, get it and just uh, play around with it. Cool, you can just do the same with your computer keyboard. Let's go back to the drum rack. Let's turn this one off for a sec. Because um, especially in the drum rack, you might want to use a certain, uh, a certain pattern on your drum keys. And uh, let's say you want the bass drum up here and you want the snare drum up here on the J. So now you can change um, the computer keyboards which are dedicated to this computer uh, keyboard uh, or piano keyboard, piano roll um, for um, in different settings as well. Really easy, save them and then you're ready to go.